Welcome to chapter A1 of the textbook Sustainability Management. This chapter is about history and status quo of sustainable development, and in this short introductory screencast, I will guide you through this first chapter, give you an overview of what you can expect, what you can learn, and about some special features of uh, this chapter and the book in general. So the idea is that after reading this chapter, you will be able to do a couple of things. You will be able to describe the historic roots of the concept of sustainable development. So explain where it comes from. You will learn that sustainable development has evolved into a rather holistic concepts covering different aspects of justice within our, within our own generation and for the next generation. But it was more narrow in the beginning. You will be able to characterize sustainable development based on these two concepts of intra and intergenerational justice and you will learn that intragenerational justice covers the current generation so basically us while the intergenerational fo uh, justice focuses on the future generation so on our children our children's children and so on You'll also be able to critically reflect the status quo of intra and intergenerational justice, these two pillars of sustainable development. And you will learn that the current patterns that we have in society in terms of resource usages, uh, usage, but also in terms of uh, several elements of justice show significant gaps so that we can probably state that we don't have a status of sustainable development uh, just as yet. Then you will be able to explain why achieving sustainable development is indeed a wicked problem. And that means that it's really a complex issue. We have often conflicting issues, for example, between intra and intergenerational justice, but also between different actors. For example, companies might have very different uh, goals and objectives compared to consumers, cons uh, compared to uh, other elements of society, the media, uh, regulators, uh, and so on and so on and so on. So it's really difficult to achieve sustainable development. And we are only likely to really achieve it when different actors play along and also are aware how they can influence sustainable development. So realistically, sustainable development can only be pursued when various actors engage with the idea and probably even when they engage together with the idea. So that's the idea of this first chapter on uh, this textbook or from this textbook on sustainability management, first covering sustainable development from an overarching perspective. In this chapter, there will be a couple of features that we will have in some other chapters as well. First, we have a feature on sustainability in society about the unsustainable resource use, giving the historic example of the Easter Island. So having a look how resource use can actually um, influence, negatively influence intergenerational justice. And we have an interesting example there, sustainability in society too is about bioplastics and biofuels. That is about the challenges and the trade-offs that are sometimes there between the different elements of justice and trying to illuminate that with the idea of bioplastics and biofuels. Then we talk about faces of sustainability in the book as well. Greta Thunberg, who is an advocate for environmental issues, but also for social issues, interesting personality and we will have the COVID-19 pandemic as an example for a wicked problem of sustainability in the feature on sustainability in society number three.